Some stories have a happy ending. Some better than others. There's one that will horrify you till this day. No need to talk about it now. If you're familiar with a number one engine, you've come to the right place. What if I told you a little secret? What if I told you that there's an alternate universe where the number one engine was never the number one, where another engine took the spotlight? This is the story of James and the ghost engine. Who is James? James is known for his marvelous red paint. In this universe, the number 5 engine is the chosen one. Now my friends, I'll leave you to enjoy this story. We'll talk again soon. For now, farewell. Hello James and hello Whistler. Such a beautiful day we're having. Glad to see you all cheery. Look at that sparkling red paint. That's a sight to see. I'm glad for you, my friend. It must feel great to pull the express and see the smiles on people's faces. I wish one day I could pull passengers. It would be exciting for a change. Hello James, splendid day we're having. Talk to you later. Gotta keep puffing. Can't let Whistle over finish before me. Bye, James. Bye, James. Might run the plan on me one more time, Putishka. Come on, this is insane. You know how much trouble we will be in if the skinny controller finds out. Relax. We should show these new engines they're in our territory now. I don't know. 
disappearing an engine? That's different, Futishka. What if we get caught? Silence! The plan will work. We will figure out a plan for the rest. Our main focus is James. We'll show him that he isn't the skinny controller's favorite engine. Once James is gone, we can all get on with our normal lives. Be seeing you three. Tonight we'll carry on our plan. I'm a puppy puppy Wendigo. Oh, bring out the Wendigos. I love Wendigos. Isn't that fascinating? Of course. Plan number one, check. Next, meet with Kutishka. Oh dear, I'm not liking the weather today. A storm is definitely coming. This exact same weather reminds me of a true story driver once told me. The story goes like this. It was a cold chilly night and the passengers were just boarding the train. When a phone rang. The call, driver said. No one answered. Driver continued to board the train when he got the call again. This time a woman said at the stroke of midnight, all will be lost. Only the pure hearted will find a way out of the storm and a change for better or for worse. The train was leaving the station. On the way to their last destination, the storm grew louder and louder. Suddenly, in the distance, they see a sign saying beware the viaduct. The engine's drivers try to apply the brakes in time, but it was no use. They knew where they were headed. Driver and the passengers were panicking. Driver even mentioned opening the exit doors. He tried helping the others, but it was too late. Driver jumped to safety. You actually don't believe in that nonsense stuff. You don't actually believe in ghosts. Right? They can't be real. The train was lost with those passengers never to be heard or seen from again. Until now. It starts like a night like this. Then a shadowy engine appears and takes with it, everything in its path. Some say it's the engine that fell to its death. Others may think it's just a legend. Like you said Donald, it's all just a story. Nothing to be scared of. Duck! Where are you going? You know what? I think I'm going to be heading home thank you. Ghost engines don't exist. Ghost engines don't exist. Do they? I don't want to find out.
I can't stop thinking about the ghost engine Duck talked about. Those four people. Lives lost. And the engine. It also was lost. Never to be heard from again. I hope Duck was just teasing me. Hope it's just one of Duck's made up stories. Ghosts don't exist. Do they? If the ghost were here, then it would have motive to appear and haunt the railway. Stop thinking too much Donald. I'm getting the feeling that I'm being watched by something. Or maybe I'm being a scaredy engine and believing Duck's story. This has to be the bridge the engine had its end. Was the engine ever found? Why wasn't there an investigation? Why am I just hearing about it now? Is the engine still down there? I just hope this storm would end to get back to the shed safely. I can't imagine what it would have felt like to go through such horrible things that happened that night. Those passengers, that train, and what's worse I want to know did they ever recover the wreckage. I just hope that what Duck said, isn't true. Where is Donald? He should be back by now. What's taking him so long? I'm starting to get worried. Don't worry, Douglas. Donald is probably running late from the extra work the conductor gave him to do. It's just that. I don't know, Arthur. I just feel something's wrong. Maybe you're right. Maybe, he's just running late.
Hello, James. Hope your night is going well. Did you get the emergency message that the conductor was supposed to give to you today? Fascinating. Let's get the job done. Follow me. I'll show you the way. Now, we'll see you get out of this situation. Plan number one to sabotage James, engage. Let's see you find your way back. Ha 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 ha.
Wake up lazy wheels. The job is not going to get done on its own. Come on Timothy, just five more minutes. I barely shut an eye last night. Just a few more seconds, and I'll have the energy of a jet engine. Promise. Nice try big fella. Tell you what my friend, we get the job done together and then you could take time to snooze. I thought this place would be packed and loaded with freight cars and cargo. Come James, I'm sure Donald will be in a cheery mood once you set him straight. Look who's awake now that you've arrived James. It's Lazy Wheels. He he he. Great to see you James. What brings you here may I ask? I hardly ever see you around these parts. Let me guess, the skinny controller sent you over here to help us with the heavy work. We do need an extra strong train like yourself. Actually, the conductor sent me over. I had to do extra work after my train arrived late last night. It wasn't my fault. Weird as this is going to sound but Putishka offered to show me the way to the coal plant. On our way there, the night grew darker and everything around was scarier. And Putishka left me behind as she speeded away disappearing into the night. I felt so lost. Did you say Putishka? James, if I were you, I wouldn't associate with her. She is known for her bad reputation. Take it from an old engine who has seen what she's capable of. I was on my way back to the sheds when I felt that someone was watching me. It was so dark out. As I approached the bridge, I couldn't cross to the other side. It's like something didn't want me to cross. I was spooked. That's why I'm tired. That's not all. As I was at the station wondering how to get back on track to the coal plant, suddenly, I hear an engine coming up behind me. This wasn't any ordinary engine. It was a shadowy engine. It's the scariest sight I ever seen. Then it chased me down the line until we reached the bridge. I've noticed he only made it halfway. That was the scariest experience I've ever encountered. The question is, why would it appear now? And to you both, it was spying on Donald. It chased James. What is its purpose? What's it want? Unless... All right, Timothy. There's a special special waiting for you at the station. Controller's orders. Driver says that the skinny controller has a special special for me. I still can't believe this is happening. Good luck with your train. You deserve it, Timothy. He knows you're a hard-working engine. It's your time to shine, Timothy. Don't keep him waiting. Tell me all about it when you get back, my friend. Hurrah! Dreams really do come true. See you later, you two. I really can't believe this is happening. I'm so excited to be pulling passengers. I won't let the skinny controller down. I still can't believe that the skinny controller chose me. A very old engine to pull my very first passenger train. This is exciting.
We shall not speak of this incident. One less problem to worry about. I'll order a new engine. Our railway can't have another scandal. He was an old engine. Good riddance. That's what I say. The new engine will take after Timothy.